Hello, today I'm going to show you around your new camper. This is a Dutchman Aerolite 2018 174E. We have owned this camper for four years. We were the original owners of it. We have taken it all over the uh, eastern edge of the United States and we hope that you will enjoy it as much as we have. One thing you'll notice right away that this is a hybrid, not your standard hard-sided camper, which we prefer. It has a lot of great advantages. First, it tows very short. It's only about 16 feet long. However, when you take the beds out, they'll extend and the total length of the camper from the inside is 23 feet long. The other advantage of a hybrid, you have these tent ends that allow a lot of air in. So if you're ever camping off the grid where you cannot use the air conditioner or anything like that, you get a lot of air flowing in that you would not get in your standard hard-sided camper. Uh, we love the hybrid so much, that's going to be our next camper that we're getting, is in going from one hybrid to the next. I wanted to kind of show you some of the features that this one has. For a camper this size, this camper is very well loaded. Uh, there are similar campers, but really, most of them do not have as many features as this one does. First thing you would notice is it has a full awning that runs the length of the camper. That's, uh, I believe, a 14-foot awning. It might be 12 feet. Outdoor speakers. So there's the stereo on the inside. You have two zones. You can put use the inside speakers or the outside speakers or both. We have uh, electricity outlets out here. And that's a cable outlet as well. So if you wanted to, you could take the TV that's inside, bring it outside, watch TV uh, while you're under the awning. We have a fresh water fill. This is a 52 gallon fresh water tank, which is about as big as you're gonna get for a camper this size. A lot of times if you go with the, see the Starcrafts, uh, they might only have like a 20 gallon tank. This one has a 52 gallon fresh water tank. That's gonna be good enough fresh water for you to last most of a week if you are dry camping. Oh, let's go around the side here. We have um, the Over on the service side of the camper, one thing you will notice is down here we have a standard gray tank and black tank. You do not see that on many smaller campers. If you're thinking pop-ups and things like this, this has a standard ba a full bathroom on the inside, standard traditional gray tank and black tank. Um, we have our city water connection. This camper has one feature that even a lot of high-end campers do not have, and this is a black tank flush. So if you've ever, if you've been camping before and some people need, want to clean out their black tank for the toilet water, wind up putting hoses or anything down the toilet, you won't have to do that on this one. Instead, you just hook a hose up to here and it flushes out the black tank. It does a phenomenal job. We would never buy another camper that does not have that. We have a hookup for cable TV. There's also an antenna up on the roof that um, gets for, for the TV as well. As we go across here, oh, this is a external spray port. So we, you, we have a connector for a shower hookup. And so it's always good for, <clears throat> it's always good for, let's say you're at the beach and you wanna wash off all the sand and everything. While we're on this side of the camper also, one thing that we upgraded on this camper, we put Goodyear Endurance tires. These are the best trailer tires that are on the market. They are fairly new. They still have a lot of miles left on them, a lot of life still left on them. So, and that really makes a huge difference while driving. Uh, whereas a lot of trailer tires, you cannot really safely go over 65 or 70 miles an hour. These are speed rated up to 85 miles an hour. Not that we would ever go that fast with the trailer. We have the side hatch right here. This is actually a pass-through that goes all the way to the other side and inside through, through about this far here. And on the other side, there is a lot of storage, external storage um, on this. If you look at the pictures that we have on the, um, for the ad, we also have pop-up gizmos. We are including those in this camper as well. Pop-up gizmos, if you're not aware, are covers that cover this, um, that, that cover the bunk ends. We've, we bought these after our first year of camping without them, and it makes a huge difference. 
it really you can you can camp in any weather we camp all the way down to it's in, into the low 30s and all the way up well past 100 degrees with those covers on it really does a nice job at preventing uh, condensation in the bunk ends and prevents things from getting too hot or too cold the other thing that we also put is we cut out some reflectix that fit perfectly between the screen and the window you can just Un, uh, unzip the screen and pull these out anytime you want. These also do a really good job at keeping the uh, temperature, keep it insulated, and um, and then uh, in both the hot and the cold weather. Underneath here, one thing you will not see on a lot of base uh, basic trailers, there's double propane tanks. Two 20-pound tanks are in here. That's enough propane to really last you uh, pretty much the entire camping season. We have a battery cover on this. Coming around back to you. Now let's start taking a look at the inside. <clears throat> All right. Uh, as we walk in, the first thing I want to show you is the uh, control panels. You have. Uh, control panels for all your tanks, for your fresh water, your battery, uh, your black water, gray water, fresh water, uh, lights for your porch. This just opens up, this is for one of the lights up here, but the rest of the lights around here, they're all LED lights, so it's really good on the battery. It doesn't drain your battery much. It's low on electricity. They also don't get very hot either, so you don't have the heat from all the lights. One thing you do not see on too many campers like this is this also has a gas or electric hot water heater. A lot of times with some of the uh, other hybrids or pop-up campers, you'll only see the gas water heater. So in order to get hot water, you got to run your gas, uh, your propane all the time. This one will run on electricity as well. So you could just use the campground's electricity and not have to worry about run it, burning propane for hot water. One thing I love about the hybrids is the amount of space that we have. So this, for a small camper here, you have a full queen size bed on both ends of the camper and the beds are all on the far end, which means you have all this middle space for plenty of living space. So we have a queen size bed here with a curtain over here. We have storage up above, a lot of storage space there. As we get into the kitchen, we have an 800 watt microwave with carousel. We have a three burner stove. A lot of campers will only have a two burner stove. This one's a three burner stove. One cool thing that this camper has that you do not see on too many campers this, uh, this size is an actual oven. A lot of ovens, um, a lot of campers do not have an oven. You might think, why might I want an oven in a, in a camper? We actually use ours quite a bit. We make spaghetti sometimes at the campsite. Well, put a little garlic bread in the oven. Maybe you're tired of s'mores, put in some cookies and then the camp, they'll make the campground smell like cookies. It's really pretty cool. Uh, that oven works pretty good. We have a, another thing you don't see on too many campers like this is a two basin sink. Makes doing dishes a lot easier. We have this cutting board that fits right along top of this. Gives you a lot more prep space as well. We have cabinets up above here, below, underneath. Another feature you uh, you don't see on too many campers this size is a fridge this size. I believe this is a 7.2 cubic foot fridge. It's not just one of those small refrigerators with the freezer on top. We have a large refrigerator. You put a lot of stuff here and a full separate freezer. So that's a very good feature to have on this camper. Up above, we have a very large um, air conditioner. Again, we've camped down in Florida, Louisiana, and we've never had a problem with it getting too hot. With the temperature could grow up to, 200, uh, to uh, 100 degrees, with the Reflectix, with the pop-up gizmos, it stays really, really comfortable in here. All these lights are all individually push-button controlled so you can get the exact lighting you want. We have accordion style shades. We have a large pantry area up here. Another storage space right here as well. 
The uh, heat is just controlled by a thermostat there. So you can just set the heat to whatever temperature you want. And the uh, furnace is down below here. And we really get quite a bit of heat. It heats up this up pretty quickly. We have a really, we have a large couch. That's another thing that you don't see on too many campers is a couch of this size is a couch with the dinette. So there's a lot of really comfortable living space here. Uh, so we have the two queen size beds. If you wanted to, you could jackknife this sofa. This just goes and folds out and flattens for another bed as well. Then we also have the dinette. This dinette will um, also fold down. You can make that into a bed as well if you needed to. There's more storage up above here. We like storing towels and things up there. There's even more storage underneath here and actually access to the uh, pass through, which, which goes down along here. So there's a lot of storage and access to that storage. One thing that we added is we added this TV. We put it on a uh, swivel mount. So it's a 19 inch TV, but for the size of this camper, it really uh, does the trick. We have, you watch TV here, lay in bed and watch TV, adjust it from wherever. You could even take it outside if you want. We This system has AM, FM, it has CD player, DVD player. You can, as I mentioned before, you can change the modes on this. And it also has Bluetooth. So if you have music on your phone, you can Bluetooth your phone directly into your system here and play music outside on your campsite or inside in your camper. And then uh, finally, we're going to head on over to the bathroom. This is this you do not usually see bathrooms like this in a smaller camper. We have this is not a wet bath or anything. This is a full camper. We have a uh, the toilet. By the way, the uh, tanks the we mentioned the 52 gallon fresh water, the gray water. So the sink water will, is a 39 gallon tank which is about as large as they get for campers this size. And the black water is 29 gallons, so that is quite large. We have inside the shower here, it's fairly decent size. You have a skylight here to give you even more headroom. It has a shower with a pause on it, so, so you're not wasting a whole lot of water, you can shut off the water and turn it back on. And then we have a vent fan here with a, with a fan on that. We have a full sink, so a, sec, a second sink here in addition to the one outside. So that way you're not mixing, you know, brushing your teeth with doing the dishes and things like that. So this is a really good workspace. We are very comfortable with this one. Uh, we can spend, we have taken vacations for a couple weeks and when we're done, we're still not ready to leave. Uh, this feels like home, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we have for the last four years. Thank you.